Hi guys, my name is Stacey and welcome to my channel, also known as Stacey's Jungle. I'm sat in the jungle currently. This is where we're going to be touring today. We're going to tour the whole house. I'm going to do a full house plant tour. And I just counted, I have around 150 plants. That's a ballpark because I just quickly like whew, scanned about. <laughs> we're going to just tour all the plants today and quick disclaimer, if I can't think of a plant name, please don't come for me. I'm going to be saying a lot of plant names and you know, sometimes I can't think of the plant name. Like it does not come to me, it does not come to my brain. It's gonna be so much fun, woo! So yeah, let's go and tour some plants. Okay, the sun has just started to shine, so everything's looking very pretty right now. Let's just start here. We have my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen, who has had her fair share of pests, but now she's come through and she's stunning. Next to it, I have a Dracaena, like a Twister one. I really don't know the variety, so it's gonna happen quite a lot in this video where I'm not gonna know the exact variety, so. A Shiflara Variegata, also known as Umbrella Tree, which is so pretty. And then up there, I have a String of Hearts which goes all the way down. And I have just actually done a video of me chopping this back. And then up there, I have a burrow's tail. Over here, I have a little nerve plant and a begonia tamia, which I took a cut in ages ago and now she's basically her own plant. And then back there, this is kind of hard to show, but I have a euphorbia, which is almost hitting the ceiling. And then if we go down, I have a satin pothos right there, which is, I took from a little cutting. I have a, I have a Peperomia Napoli Nights. We have a Hoya Carnosa. I took a little cutting. I have a baby burrow's tail, a string of turtles, which is a cutting I took as well and an earth star which is not looking its best but it was in like its own like terrarium um and I took it out of the terrarium because it was not liking it in there we got over here I've got a begonia rex begonia um not sure what exact variety this is because there is just so many different varieties of this um, I don't know them all. I've got a Tradescantia tricolor set there and under that I just have some propagations and my prop box. Moving on to the plant shelf which is over here. Let's start from the top. So at the very top I have my Alocasia Zebrina which is absolutely huge. I've had this Alocasia for quite a few years now. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I would love a bigger space to you know, show this plant, but she just lives at the very top for now. Next to it, or underneath it, should I say, I have a Monstera adansonii, which was upstairs, but I moved it down here, so she got more of, a, you know, the spotlight down here. That is trailing all the way down to the floor. And next to it, I have this philodendron. I've not been able to ID this philodendron, so if you know, please leave a comment and tell me what it is. Um, it was one of those plants that you get, you know, and it has like no ID on it. It just says like tropical house plant. And I'm like, honey, I need to know the variety. Let's move down to the next shelf. So I'm going to try and show this the best I can. It's very chaotic. Let's start here. We have a little pothos enjoy. We have a peperomia. I'm not sure the variety. I don't know my peperomias very well. Here we have a Calicia repens. I'm pretty sure. And next to it, I have a little silver dragon, which is very cute. And then I have a Epipramnum penatum variegata, which is just a little baby one. And then I have a Calathea rattlesnake right there. A Hartley philodendron. I have a philodendron, I think it's like Sodoroi. I'm not completely sure, but I think it is. There I have a little alocasia pink dragon and back there I have a philodendron brazil and I'm sorry, oh wait, and I also have, wait, a calathea ruby, ruby barber, ruby barber, I can't remember, it's soft to touch, it's just a little baby that I took and I know it's very chaotic on here, 
Uh, oh, I also have a little Cebu Blue Pothos there. Down here, I have a Philodendron Brazil. This is a pot of different plants that I just potted together. So I have a Philodendron Heartleaf with a Marble Queen Pothos. I don't know, I just like to mix them up a little bit where I can. Uh, that is a Neon Pothos and a Monstera Adansonii. I have uh, a string of hearts where I planted this for an Instagram video. I planted the tuba. Um, back there, I have an Alocasia Colata. And then here, I have a um, Syngonium Albo, which actually I had to chop because I accidentally broke it. So that's now propagating. Um, and there, I have loads of cuttings in a glass jar of my Monstera Adansonia and a few Golden Pothos cuttings in there too. Oh, and here I have one of my test tubes that I did the DIY for over on my Instagram, and that's a Hoya Pupicalyx Splash. Okay, and then going down to the last shelf here, I have a variegated Maranta, which is under the grow lights. You can't really see it because I've got too many plants. So down here I have a Maranta Lemon Lime, which is looking a little bit crispy, but that's just because... Stop with the barking, please. Anyway, I have this, which is a little bit crispy from the water, but you know how Maranta can be. This is Pothos Happy Leaf. Um, and that's just some cuttings that I have in a jar next to it. And then here I have my Philodendron, Philodendron Splendid which is looking very lovely. It's down in that pot there. I need to get like a proper moss pole for it, but I just haven't yet. Yeah, that's its newest leaf. It's very pretty. These bits on it are like odd. Oh, and down there, I almost forgot this one. I have a little Marenta down there, which again, is crispy. I had this on there and it was like too close to the grow light and it was literally burning the leaves when it did like it's praying at night. So um, yeah, I had to move it over a little bit because it was just getting burnt. So this is my table. Up there, just before I forget, I have a philodendron heart leaf, which is just kind of hiding out in the back. Okay, so on my table back here, I have a neon pothos, which is kind of growing around a hoop that I made. Um, I have an Anthurium, Clavinarum, however you say it. I can't say these names. Um, a Philodendron Gloriosum, which I need to get a better pot for because she is growing out of the pot. You see? Yeah, not good. Also ignore that fly sticker, that's gross. Then I have my Monstera Thai Constellation. This is the newest leaf. It's very beautiful. I love it very much. It's so beautiful. Down here I have a variegated Maranta. I just got sent these, which are really cute. I'm going to be doing a video with them soon. I have a Monstera Peru, which is kind of still in isolation. Um, I'm just, I'm treating it making sure that it doesn't have any bugs on it before I introduce it to the rest of the plants. I like, this is my isolation spot, which is not the best because it is right near my other plants, but you know, as long as the leaves aren't touching any other leaves and I keep going on my neem oil, then yeah, should be fine. Here I have a big Calathea rubibaba, rubibaba, I don't know how you say that. A bigonia tamia, again, I've got a few of them because they just grow so rapid. I have my string of hearts, propagations, and another jar of propagations. Look how pretty that leaf is. So gorgeous. Big Monstera, deliciosa. Deliciosa. She's big, she's beautiful. Um, again, wish I had more space so I could show this plant off. There, I've just got a little dragon tree. Ignore all this mess. Uh, this is like the re reality of owning plants is you have a lot of pots and you have a lot of soil and then here i have a marble queen pothos which has seen better days i've been kind of neglecting this one a little bit which is kind of sad but um you know i'm bringing it back so it's gonna be fine and yeah that is all the plants 
in this part of my home. Down here, I've got a little aglionema. This is a pink variety. I'm not sure what type. And I have a fiddle leaf fig, which is kind of taking over my door right now. And next to it, I have a ficus elastica ruby one. It's got that really dark foliage. I've had this for many years now. And yeah, it's a very, very easy plant to care for. Moving on to my kitchen windowsill. I have a few plants on here. I have a vanilla orchid. I have a Hoya Australis. Don't mind the little bits of dirt. We had the window open and it kind of blows dirt. <laughs> I've got some little cacti down here, a little calancho, which is new. I had this one on my story recently. A Hoya Bella. I know the plant pot doesn't fit in the planter. I'm still trying to figure out what plant I want in the disco wall planter. Currently, I've just kind of plopped this Hoya Bella in there. Next to it, I've got this big fern. I think it's a Boston fern. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And then I have a little terrarium that has some different plants in there. It's just chilling. I also have this really sad blue star fern, which is just never been great. Ever since I sprayed it with neem oil, it's just never really come back, so. And then on my fridge, I have a couple of plants. I have this really beautiful satin pothos, um, which just cascades down my fridge. I've got some test tubes on my fridge that I did the DIY for. Looking cute. And on this side, I have a golden pothos, which just trails all the way down to the floor. Okay, I'm just gonna include this anyway because it's not technically plants, but it kind of is. This is my boyfriend's fish tank. And at the top, he has loads of golden pothos growing. Uh, a monstera, lucky bamboo, and a little peace lily. And yeah, I just wanted to include it because it's kind of cool. Um, I have this Dracaena. Uh, I'm not sure what type Dracaena, honestly. I've had this for so many years. It has been through the war and it's still somehow like alive. Like it just doesn't die. And then down here, I have a little ZZ plant. And then over there, I have my big, beautiful begonia maculata, which is absolutely huge. Down here, I have an orchid, which is flowering for me at the moment. Down here, I have my Calathea triostar, triostar. I couldn't think of the name of it then, um, which, yeah, is super pretty. And over here, I have begonia double dot. It's like the begonia maculata, but it's a little bit more pink when it comes through on those new leaves and it has pink flowers whereas the macula has a white flower so yeah i've showed you all the plants downstairs i'm now going to show you all the plants upstairs there's a lot more plants downstairs than there is upstairs but that's just due to lighting and space and yeah let's show you all the plants i have upstairs so this is kind of just like my hallway it's very small you know, there's not a lot going on here. I've got a Peperomia obtusifolia variegata, which is very pretty. I did a video ages ago on my Instagram where I showed my repotting this and it's done really well ever since. I've got a Alocasia dragon scale and a Philodendron mykins. And then if we go over to this side, I have a Tradescantia which is super long. In my bedroom now, I have an Aglianema silver bay, I think. I'm not sure. This had a few spider mites on it. Most of these plants have spider mites, so ignore if they look a little bit crispy. It's an anti Marxy. I'm not sure. One of, kind of like that. This is a Begonia Rex, which is not looking good. This plant just comes and goes. It goes where, like, where it looks beautiful, and then it looks like shit again. Calathea stromanthi, <sighs> magic star, but this again, she needs a water, but I'm just trying to like dry it out and spray it with neem oil. And yeah, this is kind of an embarrassing plant to show, but trust me, I'm gonna bring it back. Over here, I have a Tenanthi Bill Maxi. This one also has spider mites, woohoo! So yeah, a lot of the plants in my bedroom have spider mites, which you'd think, why would you want those plants in there? But like, I can kind of keep them on that windowsill and just keep treating them until like they are better. It's kind of a pain. 
I don't know how they got spider mites because none of them had spider mites. And then all of a sudden they all had spider mites. So I'm thinking maybe I left the window open and it just kind of, they all got spider mites. So now we are in my bathroom. I only have a few plants in here. I have a snake plant, kind of sense of area, little windowsill. These are whale fin sense of areas, but like, and I don't want like 50 of these. So I just leave them in the pot. <laughs> Because I'm like, I don't have space for that many babies, you know? So I just leave them there. Down here, I have a Calathea Musica, which has the really cool texture to the leaves. And then over here, I just have a Alocasia Colata, which has really tiny growth. It doesn't get good light. Oh, and in my bathtub, I currently have a Diffenbachia. She's under treatment, so she's just kind of hanging around in here. And over there, on my kind of like towel rack, I have a peace lily, which is really old. I've had this for so many years. Um, occasionally it does flower. I don't really do anything to it. It doesn't get good light, to be honest. And it's kind of dusty, even though I do shower it <laughs> as much as I can. Um, but yeah, she just... She just lives on. And then over here, I just have a little peperomia. Okay, moving on to my office. I have another little plant corner here. Shelf up there. So I'm just gonna go through all of this. Hi. My dog just jumped onto my chair because he likes to steal my chair. So down here, I just have a really big syngonium, like green arrow, I think it's called. It's just like a really standard syngonium. Up here, I have a different back here reflector, which has seen better days. Um, it had spider mites and it kind of lost quite a few of its leaves. But it's still looking kind of cool. On here, I have a philodendron birkin. I have a golden pothos here and then a begonia maculata and a syngonium albo at the back there you can see it's pretty leaves okay so going up there i have a pothos enjoy i have a maranta fascinator and the golden pothos which is kind of trailing although i did just chop it because it was just like i don't really want it invading these plants kind of space here i've got a philodendron varicosum incensi there i have another little peperomia I've got an Alocasia cupria, which is actually putting out a new leaf as we speak. That's super exciting. I've got another Begonia tamia, so that's three I've got. <laughs> I've got a Tridescantia there. I think it's like Quicksilver. I think that's the variety. And up there, I've got another Tridescantia. Not looking its best. I need to like chop it and prop it and, you know, sort it out. Let's move on to the next shelf. So I have a Maranta Fantasy Light Veins. This is a Philodendron Brantianum, but it's like, what the heck is going on with this? These plants are so weird. Like they're just weird to grow. I don't know what's going on with it. I've got a little baby Alocasia Black Velvet. I've got a String of Pearls, a Tradescantia Nenuk, which did have some flowers on it, but I think they're gone now. Back there, I've got a Syngonium. I think it's like a white butterfly. I've got another Alocasia Colata. I've got a Philodendron Bilitae. Bilitae? Bilitae? I'm not sure how you say that one, but it's pretty. In this little test tube, I've got the Maranta Fascinator cutting from that one up there. Down here, I've got a Philodendron Prince of Orange. A string of turtles which is looking a bit funky. I might just like chop it and put it back into the top of the pot. Down here I have a, a Hoya Bella which is absolutely massive. I just keep having to move this plant around because it just doesn't fit anywhere. I've got here a Scandapsis Trubii Moonlight Pothos which is the slowest grower on earth. I've got a little orchid growing right there, which is flowering for me. Um, down here, I've got a Maranta. If I just move over to here for a second, I've got a Syngonium. Don't know the variety of this one, but it's nice and bushy. On my windowsill, I've got a um, Pothos Marble Queen. 
I've got this alocasia, which only has one leaf, so yeah. Uh, I've got this jade. Up here, I have a black lipstick plant, um, which is really cool. It has like the coolest leaves ever. Like, have you seen these leaves? They're insane. I have a string of dolphins. And here I have a Dishidia coin plant. I don't know the variety of it. Um, I know it's a Dishidia, but Zappa is just making all the noise. So sorry if you can hear him moving around. Okay, so onto my desk area, I have this little Tenanthi, also called like a peacock plant. I have a Philodendron Brazil. And then over on this side, I have a Pothos Android, some propagations just going in this little glass jar and a Chinese evergreen. I normally have more plants on this shelf, but it's kind of like bowing a little bit. So it needs to be reattached properly. I have a golden Pothos that is trailing all the way down. And I have a Hoya Linearis, which is really cool it just gives like that different texture and yeah that is all the plants in this room so yeah that was all of the plants in my house thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it leave me a comment also leave me a comment if you know what a plant name is and i didn't know it that would be so 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 helpful to me to know what the plant is called sometimes it's hard to like find it online like the exact one especially with stuff like syngonium and tradescantia and begonia like some of them are just so hard to id so if you do know let me know if you stuck around this whole video leave me a comment that says leave me a comment that says plants are friends not food it doesn't really make sense because i'm a veggie so so yeah, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you all have a magical, beautiful day. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Woohoo, we did it. Houseplant tour. Woo, woo. Bye. <laughs>